Hey guys, it's Joshua Sturm with Keller Williams Real Estate. Today's blog is the truth about interest rates and how they affect a home seller and a home buyer. And we're in for a little history lesson as well as some basic economics. So my goal with this blog is to keep you educated about all things real estate so you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to your own home selling and buying goals. So interest rates have been on the increase over the last couple of months and we shouldn't be surprised by this. In fact, most experts have been predicting the increase in mortgage rates for the last two years and they're finally right. So we should first garner a little perspective on what's normal in terms of interest rates. If we go back the last 42 years, the average interest rate is about 8.4%. For a younger population, that's simply not realistic. So let's say we hit the reset button on interest rates going back to 1990 to appease our millennial home buying population. So if we start in 1990, then our average interest rate is actually 6.6%. Right? And what is today's rate? Mm, depending on when you watch this, probably somewhere around four and a half. So we're still quite a bit lower. So here's a little Federal Reserve interest rate history. The Federal Reserve prefers to keep the Fed funds rate between two and five percent. That's the sweet spot for maintaining a healthy economy. That's where the nation's gross domestic product grows between two and three percent annually. And it has the natural unemployment rate between four and a half and five percent. Price increases remain below the Fed's inflation target of 2% core inflation rate. But there were times in history where the nation's benchmark interest rate was well above the sweet spot, and that was to curb runaway inflation. And since 2008, it's been well below to stimulate economic growth. Once you see how the Fed changed the Fed funds rate, then you're gonna understand how it manages inflation and recession. So the current federal funds rate is about 1.5%. The Federal Reserve signaled it will raise rates to about 2% uh, in 2018, 25 in 2019, and then 3% in 2020. The rate is critical in determining the U.S. economic outlook. So this means that interest rates are likely to continue their rise uh, to normalcy. And how will that affect a home buyer? Well, as you can see in the attached graph below, when mortgage interest rates go up by 1%, the cost of owning a home goes up by about 10%. So another way of looking at this is if you were shopping homes priced at $350,000 and interest rates went up by 1%, now, the, uh, now you'd be shopping homes priced at $311,000 to get the same payment. That's a pretty significant difference. So if you're a home seller, realize that we're in a trickle up economy. And what that means is if there's an increase of 1% in interest rates, we're gonna have about 18% less potential buyers for the home. And here's why. Statistically, if an interest rate increases by 1%, then we lose the bottom 18% of first time home buyers. They are essentially the answer to the move up buyers since they're buying the move up buyers home. So now we'll have 18% fewer move up home buyers and this story plays out all the way up the housing price chain. On a side note, because of the continued low interest rates, affordability has remained near record lows going back again about 42 years. So what is the affordability index? Well, the affordability index tells us what percentage of the average household income at the average interest rate will it take to buy the average home. And nationally, it's around 22%. So by the way, this is around four or fifth lowest on record. So it's still very low. So strike while the iron's hot and sell while the buyers can buy. To see how the historically low inventory of homes has affected your own home's value, click on the home evaluation link below. And to see a list of all of the realtor's inventory of homes along the one such front, go ahead and click on the home search link. Thanks again for taking the time to watch the blog.